They're taking a pure electric signal and sculpting it into something of beauty. supposed to be in Richmond Virginia for a bar crawl I was going to a bar crawl with Jasmine and Kenya and I couldn't go because the corona the coronavirus has like swept the nation um, it started off kind of like I wouldn't say minor but just like over the span of I guess a week it went from we're okay to it's going down yeah it's just been a really crazy uh, two weeks um, what I will say this has probably been the most hectic birthday week of my life um, but all in all I'm still thankful I have my health I have my job I have the ability to telework like I have nothing to complain about for referral um, um, but I will say that this thing has been stressing me out. Um, so regardless of how you feel about it, I'm not going to go too much into about the actual virus. But what I will say is that this whole situation has caused so much chaos. And for me, chaos brings me stress. Like when I just go into panic mode, like I'm just like... Like what what what's the plan? Like what am I supposed to do? And and um I try to oh my gosh, I did not know somebody's watching me. Dang. But um yeah, I try to keep my composure. Um and I think I've been doing pretty well, but for the most part, like I it's still a very stressful situation. Because I couldn't go to the bar crawl, I just decided to go full blown self care routine, self care weekend and just really try to get my mind right because I wasn't sure what I I still don't know what's, what's in the future, but I just wanted to make sure that my mind, my mental state was decent enough to thrive I guess um, long story short uh, here is my de-stress routine so this weekend I made sure to sleep in that was first on the list you hear me first on the list and then once I woke up I definitely took a shower and you know I actually took that extra step I exfoliated and I like sealed that you know I guess fresh skin in with some body butter make sure to moisturize all over that automatically put me in a better mood then I decided to do some skincare I haven't done too much with my skin as of late I've just been super busy I got more than enough time to take care of this so I decided to do a face mask I had a face mask that I got from Sydney for Christmas um it was like basically like strip mask or whatever but that was a complete fail I was like, I might as well go to my good old faithful and I brought her out and I did that instead. online about the benefits of ice cube treatments for your skin and I've seen some bad things about it but I've also seen a lot of good things about it. I really want to focus on tightening my skin especially since now I'm 25. I want to focus more on anti-aging type uh, regimens so this is what I'm about to do. Ice cube treatment. big into aromatherapy um, it doesn't even have to be herbal medicinal type aromas it could just be anything that smells good puts me in a better mood so I was like I got my essential oils I have my diffuser let's get it popping so I made sure to get that together
already eat crazy. I have crazy cravings out of nowhere. So this was the weekend to just basically do what I wanted to in regards to eating. I was like, what to diet? It's just too much going on. I just need to enjoy myself and just do what I want basically because I said I wanted to be healthier and to eat healthier but the corona the corona got me stressed and now I'm craving a PB&J chopped it to my head and not my heart And it really made me happy because I was just like, ugh, I miss them so much. It's funny because we do see each other, I want to say often, but it's not like we go like years without seeing each other, but it's just so hard for us to get together. So not being able to see them was kind of like, I was a little sad. And with everything that was going on, I was just like, uh, but they FaceTimed me and it made me happy, so. tell you how to feel about the coronavirus I'm not a scientist I am not a doctor I can't tell you or show you like diagrams or how serious this is that's on your personal judgment what I will say will say is that you can't deny that the coronavirus has truly affected our lives but in such a short amount of time it just seemed like such a irrelevant topic and then out of nowhere it's just like for me I think about it all day I think it's because I'm working from home it's on my mind even more and of course I'm not well I want to say of course but I'm not technically I'm not under risk for it I'm self quarantining I'm you know I'm relatively young and I'm just not at risk but I mean just put yourself in someone else's shoes who has older family members or just are in a high risk area or just in it's just a virus is a virus at the end of the day and no one wants to be sick no one wants to have to worry about you know having a sick family member nobody wants to worry about missing work nobody wants to worry about it's just it's it's a just a crappy situation I know uh, a lot of talk has been like what you should do about it if you should stay in the house and I'm staying in here I'm not doing anything I just want to you know kind of ride this thing out and try to be as safe as possible um, but what I will say is while I'm in here I'm taking care of myself I'm trying to make sure that I stay active. I've been calling my, well, my sister has been calling me every day. And actually, I need to talk to Ivory too. Um, but my friends, our group chats are like completely flourishing. Like I've been trying to stay in contact with my grandparents and just, just keep touching bases with everybody. Um, just to make sure that, you know, I've been seeing this little tagline and everybody keeps saying, we're all in this together. And to a certain extent we are, you know? What I will say, well, what I will say, if you are a person of a privileged lifestyle, aka rich aka the opportunity to telework as well as decent health care or insurance please keep your opinions to yourself about finances about health about taking time off of work well actually i'm not even gonna i'm not even gonna you know call out people like that but what i will just say just try to have empathy during this time it's a lot going on and if you're not necessarily living that in that situation the best thing that you could do in this moment of time is just have empathy for others whose situation doesn't necessarily look like yours like for example if people have to work or people you know they need certain resources don't look down upon them don't try to school them on life that's the last thing they need to hear Let's just all try to, you know, be supportive and understanding during this time. And also, the people who are, you know, feeling trapped in their house or feeling like, oh my goodness, how am I going to make it through these next 30 days? That's me. 
um, just really try to take time for self-care. I mean, you have more than enough time for real, for real. And just try to just focus on yourself and focus on some goals that you can accomplish in this, you know, window of time. So, with that being said, I feel like I didn't say everything that I wanted to say. Am I missing something? So, I'm going to end the video off here. Thank you for watching. If you're watching, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.